Well, how did that happen, sir? So, you got possession of your parents' truck. So, it, did you try to buy a truck on your own? Yes, ma'am, I did. Okay, yeah. in what month? Yeah. Just a second. In what month did you try to buy a truck for yourself? January. January of 2022? Yes, ma'am. And tried to buy a truck so that you could have your own truck for long hauling and business? Yes, ma'am. And you went to a dealer and you found the truck that you liked, but you didn't qualify for financing? Yes, ma'am. And how much is a new truck? That truck, it was a new, it was 2015, and they priced it at $60,000. 60? Yes, ma'am. And you told your parents about that? Yes, and there was a discussion that they had an older truck that wasn't running. It needed minor work. It that needed? Was to me. Okay. So they said to you, it needs minor work. Was it running? It was running, but the diamond steel was cracked, so eventually the truck was just going to break down completely. Okay. So you took that truck with the understanding that you were going to repair the truck, and then what? To make money. But what so you would repair the truck and then use it? Yes, ma'am. And you would keep most of the profits from using that truck? I mean, I'm trying to understand well, the, what the, the agreement, agreement was. was. My dad, Nathan, told me that the truck was only going to be worth $4,000 to fix, which was a diamond steel, it needs some bushing, it needs something for the exhaust pipe, and I was like, okay. But when the dude kept calling me for the truck, and he was like, okay, this needs to be done. But you took the truck into a mechanic? Yes, ma'am. And did they give you an estimate? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Before or after they did the work? They gave me one before, but I don't have that estimate, but I have the one for after. You mean after they completed the work, they sent you a bill? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, that's not an estimate. An estimate, sir, is when you go in and say, here's a truck. I want you to give me an estimate of what it is to have it fixed. Mm -hmm. And they give you an estimate, and then you determine whether or not you want them to do any or all of that work, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I would never bring a truck into any mechanic or any dealership well, when mechanic and say, fix it. When they were <laughs> calling me, telling me additional problems that was wrong, I would call them, which I have my phone records that show that I was also calling them once the dealership called me to fix the truck. Well, because just the a truck second. the truck wasn't able, like it needed a new gear, it needed a new transmission was messed up on the truck. Just a second, I all I want is what you're telling me that your father told you to go ahead and fix those things each time yeah. you got mm. a call? Yes. Okay, so you would call and your father would not say to you, well, how much is that to fix? Well, yeah, he would, but I had already had a federal amount that I told him that I was willing to spend, which was 10000 Well, did you spend 10000 The truck was actually over 10000 I understand to fix but it, but I you, actually spent, 10, you actually spent the 10000 mm -hmm. $10,900. Okay, okay. To fix the truck? Yes, ma'am. And mm -hmm. you have the truck? Yes, ma'am. And I think the truck was 13000 to fix. Yes, so you paid the additional three thousand yes, dollars. Now the truck is running. Yes, ma'am. It was running before, you yeah. But it's running now better because yes, there are yes, because yes. just a second. I can only get for one of you. He said the truck is in use. You said no. It's not used. I it's the truck. No, you I misunderstood what you said. I thought you were talking about the repair. You saying is the truck operable now? Yes, it's operable, but it's not on the road. Not on the road. Who yes. cares if it's not on the road? Yes. The idea was he was supposed to fix the truck and supposed to be able to use the truck. Yes, Is he able to use the truck? Yes, he's able to use the truck. Okay, great. When was the last time he tried to use the truck? He never tried to use the truck after he was sick. He said that he no longer wanted to be a part of the deal to give him his money back. Okay. I have something. Now, when the truck originally got fixed in February, my dad came into town multiple times. It was one more piece that needed to be fixed, which was the ABS module, which if you get pulled over, they're going to stop you and shut you down completely. I don't, and I told him, hey, I don't care. She's like, I don't care. I don't care. Three times, and I asked him, hey, are you going to take the truck to the shop? Hey, are you going to take the truck to the shop? He said no. And he's like, well, it don't have any insurance. <laughs> and it was just a whole bunch of excuses why he couldn't take the truck to the shop. But it would count he can't. He says, and your mother says you're mm -hmm. able to use the truck. But I don't have a CDL, so I'm not able to drop it. Well, you didn't have that when you took it in anyway, mm -hmm. to be fixed. <laughs> but I didn't take the truck over there. He drove the truck to the mechanic shop. What if I don't care who drove it there, but your agreement with him was you tried to buy a new truck. It was much too expensive. Your agreement with your parents was that you would take an old truck of theirs. Cauliflower pizza's done. I'm going to shut this up now. And the mechanic would 